Hello there. It's another um, basic science lesson, and today we'll be looking at the topic crude oil and petrol chemicals. Now, the objective of this lesson is to help learners define crude oil or petroleum, describe briefly how crude oil or petroleum is formed, state how it is refined, and give the usefulness of each fraction of petroleum. Define petrochemicals given examples. Now moving along, what is crude oil or petroleum? Crude oil, also called petroleum, is made up of hydrocarbons. Hydrocarbons are organic compounds with only two elements, carbon and hydrogen, just like from the word hydrocarbon, hydrogen, carbon. Now petroleum or crude oil is a dark, sticky, that is viscous liquid, which is made up of a mixture of gaseous liquid and solid hydro carbons now, as you can see here this picture right here shows petroleum and natural gas formation now it says here that tiny marine plants and animals died and were buried on the ocean floor over time the marine plants and animals were covered by layer of silt and sand as you can see here over 300 million years ago now over millions of years the remains were buried deeper and deeper the enormous heat and pressure turned the remains into oil and natural gas. As you can see, they are buried under sand and silt. So you have the animal and plant remains buried under sand and silt right here. Today, we drill down through the layers of sand, silt and rock to reach the rock formations that contain oil and gas deposits. So petroleum that is available on land is called onshore deposits while those under deep water body especially ocean is called offshore deposits now we're going to go ahead and look at the subheading refining crude oil now crude oil is a complex mixture of hydrocarbons and to separate the constituents we apply the method of fractional distillation is a process whereby petroleum is separated into different portions called fractions now, each fraction contains several compounds, all of which fall within a certain boiling point range. As you can see here, this is what we call a fractionating column. This is where the process of re uh, refining of crude oil takes place, you see, just as you have refineries. So this is um, a diagram, a fractionating column that helps to um, separate the fractions of crude oil, which is a mixture, into the various fractions that we used today now it says that, that these fractions can be differentiated from one another by their different texture color odor volatility and their relative case of ignition and boiling so you can see that we have various boiling points as you go up the fractionating column now you can see that below the fractionating column is where we have the highest temperature and the lowest temperature is 20 degrees celsius right here. so as you go up the fractionating column the temperature reduces and all those fractions that have um, these various boiling points they will separate out from this from these columns that you see right here so you can see that any um, of the fraction that you have at this point will will have a pipe that separates them from the others as you can see that below here we have the lubricating or paraffin wax and asphalt and at the top we have the petroleum gas in other words the gases that we use in cooking in our house so the crude oil will go through here and it will be burned through the furnace where it will go through the fractionating column where they are separated out based on their boiling point reach to part the various fraction that you see right here now moving along we'll be exploring these crude oil fractions and their uses now the first at the top of that list we have the refinery gas which is sold as cooking gas or sources of other chemicals. We have petrol or gasoline, which is the main source for fuels, or for uh, which is the main source of fuel for automobiles and generators. We have the naphtha used as a chemical fuel feed stock, and also refined to give more gasoline. We have the light gas, which is also known as diesel, used as heating oil and in high-speed diesel engines. We have the kerosene used as heating and lighting oil, as fuel for aircraft, and can also be used to produce gasoline. We have heavy oil used as fuel for slow speed engines. And we have the lubricating oil, fuel oil, and bitumen, 
which are used as lubricants in the production of candle and wax, road surfacing and roofing respectively. Now as you can see right here, this is another picture of the fractionating column as you can see the various fractions and what they are used for just as we explained in the last slide. Now moving along we'll be looking at the concept of petrochemicals. What are petrochemicals? Petrochemicals are substances that are manufactured from the byproduct of petroleum. Now examples of petrochemicals are ethanol, ethane, propanol, benzene and toluene. These small molecule organic compounds are used to make compounds like plastics, synthetic rubber, detergent, insecticides, and synthetic fibers like dacron and nylon, which has made an impact in the manufacturing industry. As you can see right here, we have the products that are made from petrochemicals. You have plastic, fabrics, rubber, paint, fertilizers, cosmetic, and so now on. here is how petrochemicals are made from refineries liquefied natural gases from all refinery we have all the byproducts of what petroleum and generally from naphtha from naphtha here which is um, a byproduct of fractional distillation of petroleum petrochemicals like ethylene propylene butadiene benzene toluene xylene are produced and in turn, these petrochemicals are used in producing plastic, raw materials of synthetic fiber, synthetic rubber, raw materials of paint, raw materials of synthetic uh, substances like detergent, higher alcohol, and others are made, which in turn are used in making electrical products like film, stationery, shirts, sweaters, tents, blankets, automotive tires, belts, shoes inks, paints, detergent, shampoo, skincare products, drugs, fertilizers, and so on. Now we have come to the end of today's lesson. Let's take a quick look at the summary. Petroleum is a dark, sticky, viscous liquid which is made up of a mixture of gaseous liquid and solid hydrocarbons. Crude oil and natural gas originated from the remains of marine algae and animals buried over the years by sediment and mud. Crude oil is a complex mixture of hydrocarbons and to separate the constituents we apply the method of fractional distillation. It is a process whereby petroleum is separated into different portions called fractions. Petrochemicals are substances that are manufactured from the byproducts of petroleum. Examples are ethanol, ethane, propanol, benzene and toluene. Now before we go, I want you to pause this video and attempt to answer these questions to know um, how much of the lessons that you have imbibed and I will see you again in the next lesson.